I guess just for you, uh, you've started both of these games really hot from the three-point line. What have you liked about the way the ball's come off your hand and getting your feet set and kind of what you're seeing thus far in the preseason? Nah, bro, I just created my hard work over the summer. The whole lot of naysayers just talking crazy on my name. Every time I get on social media, every time I do something, there's always somebody saying something about me. I created myself on working hard each and every year and getting better. One thing I've done my whole career is just continue to get better each and every year, no matter what nobody says. So my biggest thing this summer was get in the gym and just work. I worked every day of my of my life this summer, like a like a like a madman, bro, and just want my work to show on the court. So just trying to hope, hopefully, it just translate to preseason. But I'm just playing with confidence and going out there and being who I am. Um, I put a lot of work into my craft. Shout out to my team too. They was in the gym with me every single day and we just grinded hot gyms whether we on vacation or not we lived in the gym and that's credit just to the gym man the work pay off um aj finds you for two of those doc was kind of joking before the game like man he's still a teenager so sometimes that game gets moving fast but mm -hmm. what'd you see from him tonight it felt like he kind of brought the defenders along and then kicked them back to you so what'd you see from aj yeah, man, biggest thing with him, man, just trying to tell him just to slow down. Um, obviously, when you first get into the league, you kind of like playing ultra fast and kind of, uh, you know, you don't know that the game's really just slow. Like, you know, it takes a minute to kind of find your rhythm, find your pace on how you want to play at your at your speed. You know, everybody has their own speed on the court, right? So I think his biggest thing is trying to find his speed that he needs to play at uh, to be effective and um, – to be a good pro, right? But he drove and draw AD and found me and I was able to line it up, find the scenes of the ball and just hold my follow through. So um, he's definitely getting better as time goes. Obviously it's early, it's only been only about a week into this, but um, he's gonna be a great player um, overall in his career, man. Love his work ethic, um, you know, work, love how he's yes sir and no sir all the time to the coaches. Um, that's a big thing as a young player coming to the league, being able to be coachable and letting your coach coach you and working hard. So he'll have a, a big time career in the league for sure. Bobby, um, I realize probably not everything has been put in, but earlier in the week, Doc was talking about Greg Buckner and just the defensive principles and style he wants to bring in playing big. Mm -hmm. um, just curious what that means for you, how you're taking that in when you're paired with Giannis, paired with Brooke, um, and, and just kind of what, what could that look like when we see you out there with, with your teammates this year under uh, Buck's direction? Well, I just think it's more of a um, protecting the paint type of thing. Uh, we want to just emphasize protecting the rim, protecting the paint. Um, obviously, teams shoot a lot of threes in the league, right? But I think our biggest thing is not giving up so many – easy baskets at the rim and just trying to protect that as much as we can. So he's done a great job implementing a different type of strategy for us that's kind of new for us. Um, but it's a new age, it's a new day, and we have to grow as time grow. As the league gets younger and gets better, we have to uh, get better as a team as well with the things we do on the defensive end, being able to mix it up with different lineups, being able to have different guys out there for different occasions, which we have specialists now. So just being able to play play a different style of ball than we normally did, um, I think it's big for our team. Um, obviously, you don't want to give great guys the same doses game out the game, year out the year. So we have to grow as time grows, and I think it's going to be good for us going forward. You mentioned at the start that you were kind of motivated by what some people have said about you on social media. I'm just wondering, as a team, do you all feel that as a team the Bucks are being overlooked a bit because of the way the last two seasons have ended, and is that something you all are using as a chip? Um, I mean, um, as a basketball player who loves the game, I mean, you know, nobody's, like, talking about us, right? Nobody mentions that, mentions us about championships. Nobody mentions us about Christmas. Nobody says – anything about the books, right? But when you look at the books, um, obviously they'll say we're first round exits last couple of years, but we haven't really been healthy, right? Uh, health has not been on our, our side, which knock on wood now, but um, we are a determined team. We are a motivated team. We are a confident team. And uh, that's the best way to be. Um, you know, it's kind of cool to fly on the radar. And they high on all the big market teams, right? It, it looks sexy, it looks good, but you know, it's always that steady Milwaukee Bucks that's always around, right? So we'll just see when the season comes. And, um, you know, we're not cocky or nothing. We're humble with whatever we, everything we do. We just want to let the work work, man, and grind. 
um, and you know, be good at what we be good at what we do, man. It's gonna be a great season. I love our confidence. I love the the vibe, right? Like the, the vibe hasn't been this good in years, and it's kind of good to have this type of vibe going into a regular season that means so much to all of us. Hey, Bobby, just curious what you saw from Tyler Smith tonight. Oh, that's my rook, man. Try to have him shoot with me each and every day after practice, try to groom him. It's crazy, like, when I was, like, a rookie, I was looking up to, like, Taz Gibson and Joe Kim Noah, and now it's, like, me, like, right? Like, it's, like, it's, like, <laughs> like, it's crazy, right? Like, I'm, like, dang, like, now I'm doing the big brother thing now. But it's cool, man, to see my guy, like, like last game in Detroit, he's hanging his head, and I'm telling him, like, Yo, bro, like, it's not about how many minutes you play. It's not about all that. It's just about being a good pro and staying ready. Like, I'm just trying to pass down the same things that my vets pass down to me, staying ready, working hard. And when your number's called, you go out there and do it the best you can. If it's five minutes, bust your ass for five minutes, earn five more minutes. Then when you get 10 minutes, keep busting until you get 15. You keep working your way up. So um, he's going to be a great player as well. Love his work ethic. And uh, these guys are so young, man. They have so much room to grow, right? So it's going to be good, man. I like our mix of old with young, and it's going to be great, man. Um, I'm just excited for the season that's ahead of us. Uh, never felt this confident going into a season as, a, in, as an individual player. So I uh, think the sky's the limit for the Milwaukee Bucks for sure. You've been talking a lot about the, the good vibes and the confidence you, you have. How much did uh, training camp going into that, being able to go away with the team, and then being able to have your former teammate and, and Rondo uh, help out and coach the guys. Yeah, uh, just speaking on Doe first, man, it's it's great to have Doe. Like, Doe was my vet as well, which is crazy. My second year in the league, I was 21. And he asked me in training camp, like, BP, like, what year are you in now? And I'm like, 10. He said, ah, oh, man, 10? I'm like, yeah, bro, I can't even believe I'm in my 10th year in the NBA, which is crazy. But um, he's a great, great basketball mind, right? Uh, we watched some film with him, with some of the guys, and just the way he was breaking down things, how we can, you know, score on easy actions without dribbling and being able to help each other on offense and defense and things like that. So I definitely hope that we can find a way to have him be around more. Um, he definitely opens up um, guys' minds just a little bit different than, you know, it's different when it's a, a someone who's played the game, right? And they see what you see, right? So it's fun. Um, but just our team in general, uh, you know, it's, it's a it's a it's a great vibe, man. Like I say, I keep saying that, but it's something about it, man, that I really it's hard to explain. It's just you have to be in the locker room to feel it, and it's definitely going to be a great year. And I just can't wait for it to get started and for us to go through the highs and lows that's going to be there. We need that, but to all in all, uh, it's going to be a hell of a year for us.